Uh, very good. It's a, it's a very important question what I was asking. He uh, told me he's part of the group, Da'wah Now, which is one of the groups, along with the Minister of Awqaf, may Allah bless them, who uh, gave us this opportunity to come here in Kuwait and, and, and meet the people and give these lessons. Um, and he's saying sometimes we're very active and sometimes we die out. And how can we keep the consistency? And I was joking with him and he said, sometimes we have nothing. I said, sometimes you have two courses on one weekend. Because today, there's a course with our brother John Fontaine about uh, uh, Christianity and atheism. And then tomorrow, there's a second course with myself called Super Da'i. Huh? Huh? So this is, alhamdulillah, two da'wah courses in one weekend. So alhamdulillah, uh, sometimes we're active, sometimes we're not. And I think that's natural, where people go up and down. It's just like Iman. It increases and decreases. That's going to happen. But how do you keep the consistency... Uh, I, I think when you just, if you have a group of brothers who really want the khair and the good to spread, that you have to encourage one another. This is the key thing. You have to push one another. And that's why even they say when you go to the gym, one of the best things is to have, and have a workout buddy with you who, who pushes you to go through. Because if you become weak, he's like, yeah, one more set, one more set. You can do it, huh? You can push through. Uh, you have one more, two more reps. Push, 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 huh? And then he, he, he pushes you through. So the same thing now when it comes to the uh, issues of, of, of dawah, when it comes to the issues of, uh, you know, I, th I think a lot of the things that we're going to cover tomorrow, I don't want to say too much about the course tomorrow, about Super Day. Once we establish some of these things, that's automatically going to push you through to want to, to give Dawah. Because the Dawah itself, it becomes addictive. Once you really get into it, and you have the correct characteristics in yourself as a Day, you know, this is something you're not going to really be forced to do too much. As soon as you get the little push, sometimes you might need a little push, and that's it, that's the, the, the reminder. I remember now I went to, uh, when I was in Sudan, and I had about, about three weeks there, and I didn't have anything planned, any da'wah activities. So I said, alhamdulillah, it's an opportunity, to just kind of chill out for some time, and read. Read what I want to read. Not read what the people want me to teach them, I get to read what I want to read, alhamdulillah. So I sat for about half of the time just sitting around reading the entire day. Only time I would get up is to go and pray and come back and just read, that was it. It was beautiful for me. And then when the brothers realized I was there, they wanted to start to push me to give da'wah, to give lectures. And I didn't want to do it because I wanted to just continue reading. But then I realized obviously the khair was there and it was beneficial for myself and for the, the community, alhamdulillah. So we started giving the daily lessons there after Fajr and other times, alhamdulillah, and the khutbah and what have you. So alhamdulillah, this is sometimes you just need that little push, that incentive and the reminder. So if you guys make a commitment, the core team, that you're going to push each other and not going to let the person, uh, you know, uh, off easily he's gonna have to he's gonna have to come to weekly events start making things wajib where if you want to be a member there's certain things you have to do uh we, you know different courses different education so we'll talk about a lot of that tomorrow in the course super day in